Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am with a very merry special Christmas episode! That one time of the year where I take PlayStation Vita games and wrap them completely up in red and green, as you can see from my display here. Either that or it's some sort of creepy ritual or something, I don't know. This is also that special time of the year where I showcase PlayStation Vita games that A, have either never been shown on this channel before, or B, haven't been showcased in a very long time! True, it's pretty unoriginal, but we're used to mediocrity on this channel. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe, and be sure to let me know which games you've been playing for the month of December. Okay, here's the first game. Atelier, Eski, and Lodgy, Alchemist of the Dust Sky. I swear, with some of these games, is it possible for the names to get any longer? I could barely even fit that on the screen. Note to self, if you try and say a video game's name and find yourself short of breath after saying it, it's too long. Who are you pointing at? The devs that aren't watching. Back to this game though, the promise is entrusted to two alchemists. This world has seen its fair share of twilight and is slowly nearing its end. Within this world, in the western reaches of the land of dust, there exists a nation that has been prospered through its use of alchemy. In order to survive the inevitable arrival of the dusk's end, the people in the nation devote their every effort to rediscovering the lost alchemist technology of the past. Fun fact here, the physical version of this game has been one of the more pricier titles on the Vita, and I'm not 100% sure why. I guess I can assume that maybe it had a short print run when it was released and was only available through a collector's edition? Uh, true, 9 times out of 10 that's the reason why these games are so pricey. But anyway, a turn-based RPG that is set on a time limit. I absolutely love those! Well, actually, no I don't. I don't, I don't really care for the time limit part. But, the turn-based action is quite fun! Okay, the next totally awesome game that I'm going to be showcasing to you guys today is- wait, wait, wait a minute, who put this in my pile of totally awesome games? Get that thing out of here! Here's a screenshot of the title in case you were curious. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Now for the real game we're going to be talking about. This is Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Yet another game with an overly long title. I swear I didn't even plan this. But anyway, if you guys have ever wanted to be a bartender in your video games, not 100% sure how many of you actually do want that, but if you have wanted to do that, um, this game allows you to do that. Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action is a booze up about waifus. Ooh, my attention is at 100% right now. Technology and post-apocalypse apocalyptic life, or post-dystopia life, I guess those two are kind of the same thing? In this world, corporations reign supreme, all human life is infected with nanomechanics designed to oppress them, and the terrifying white knights ensure that everyone obeys the laws. But this is not about those people, you are a bartender at Valhalla, affectionately nicknamed Valhalla. Uh, that's clever? Although it's just a small bar downtown, it attracts the most fascinating people this side of dystopia. Keep your clients lubricated and you will be made privy to the most interesting stories. So this one's pretty weird, but I kind of appreciate its weirdness. In fact, I kind of wish it was even more weirder. Then again, it does feature a cybernetic android girl who has a fetish for wanting to sleep with everyone and anyone for money. Eh, that's pretty weird. Game number three is another title I haven't talked about in a hot minute. And when I say hot, I mean that quite literally. Just look at these characters. Fate Extella, the Umbral Star, is what we're going to be discussing in this topic segment thing for Christmas. <sighs> That moment when you just can't segue into something. Experience lightning fast battlefield action across an epic story in the digital realm of S E R A P H. Hmm. Again with the alphabet soup. The Holy Grail War is over, but the land's new ruler faces challenges and threats from all sides. Those servants who survived the war now find themselves drawing up tense and unlikely alliances, preparing for a conflict that may tear the S E R A ph apart or destroy it entirely and i don't even know what that is and i'm still extremely worried now as far as gameplay goes it kind of sort of plays like dynasty warriors but not really actually no yeah yeah pretty much plays like Dynasty Warriors, but with the Fate cast, and hey, what could be better than that? You can even form relationships with the characters! Ah, truly, this game was made with me in mind. Saturday nights ain't gonna be so lonely anymore!
For this one now, we're going to be going way back, as in like way, way back. So far back that Sony still kind of cared about the Vita. Unit 13 is what the game be, and in my opinion, this is kind of sort of an underrated gem as far as the early releases for the Vita go. I think it got a little bit more hate than it deserved. Thus, that's why I'm talking about it here. Oh, and just a fun fact, I have never talked about this game before on the channel. Huh, maybe I'm part of the problem. Jump into the action with Unit 13 for the PlayStation Vita and conquer 45 tactical missions as you help take down the global terror network and prove your place in the military elite. With the precision of the Vita's dual analog sticks, unique touch interface, Wi-Fi connectivity for fast action, and a two-player co-op, which I'm assuming is probably dead by now, and 3G compatibility for instant social updates and daily challenges, again, I'm assuming that's dead by now, Unit 13 is the perfect on-the-go action shooter. Immersive and intuitive shooter controls with the dual sticks and front and rear touch pads. Select from six different military operations and take on 45 missions, completing against friends and the world of high scores. Play solo or cooperatively with a friend over Wi-Fi. Conquer unique daily challenges and complete for high scores. Stay connected with 3G, blah blah blah, you already know that stuff's not gonna work anymore. But even though you'll probably most likely be playing this in single player, at least unless you have friends that still like the Vita, I have one here in my town, then this is one that I really do think Vita owners, especially if you're new to the platform, should check out. It's a shooter. That's great. Not <clears throat> not as great as Killzone, mind you, but still pretty fun in its own right. And I swear the devs aren't uh, paying me to uh, say that. That will conclude my Christmas special. Not sure why I talked with an accent there, but we're running with it. Just wanted to wish everyone out there a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and may you find plenty of Vita games in your stocking this year. And if you don't, rob a bank or question the love that your family has for you. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Zekrito, Ascorp, Makis Blob, Milk Sama, Neo Arashi, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Reiko Star, Romp King, Donut Valley, Jackie, Azumara, Cobble Trappa, Kayonko, Matt Hargit, Ronan Alganto, Tasha Monti, Eric DeWitt, Juan M. Hermesio, Burz and Mystery, Silica, Jesus Hernandez, Larry Anderson, Rodrigo Vera, Skullshire Tugel TCG, David Ray, Mario Cruz, Aaron Swanson, Adam Theory, Wendy K, Jelle, Heston Joseph, Pierre Sterner, Lori Sweeney, Kevin Enright, Erock, Richard Cruz, Jared Hado, JR, PS Vita S, Joshua Williams, Kyle Brooks, Adam Sondi, Clayton Morlarkey, Saul Ramirez, Hemdal Imbert, Hero Acer, BMF, Phantom XRS, and Gutter Drums. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on the sand screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support the channel in this manner? Don't worry about it. Likes and shares can help equally as much at making this channel grow. Ah, I just noticed I said something negative about Sony at the end of this video. I'm gonna get a lump of coal in my stocking now, aren't I?